A trial of 573 people found that multivitamin supplements significantly improved cognition and memory. But this new result is not without controversy, and it's important that we look at the totality of evidence, rather than just relying on one study when we're deciding whether or not to take a supplement. Let's start at the beginning, because it's quite the journey. Previous lab findings suggested that oxidative stress may contribute to cognitive decline. So in 2002, a study was done called the Rotterdam Study, which was a population-based prospective study conducted in the Netherlands. It included over 5,000 participants over a six-year period, and it found that high dietary intake of vitamin C and E may lower the risk of Alzheimer's disease. But while exciting, that 2002 study is only an observational study, but spurred on by those encouraging findings, it led to many randomized controlled trials. But here's where things started to go wrong. Researchers first looked at antioxidant supplements, specifically vitamins A, C, and E, because remember, it was thought that oxidative stress was causing the cognitive decline, so if we could use antioxidants to reduce that oxidative stress, maybe we could see improvements. Starting with a study in 2004, this was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial of vitamin C supplements, vitamin E, and beta-carotene, as well as zinc and copper. Unfortunately, there were no differences between the vitamin supplement group and the placebo group on any of the six cognitive tests. So these results did not support a beneficial effect for antioxidant supplements on cognition. But we need to go through these initial disappointing studies because it led to a new area of research with very encouraging findings. In 2005, another study was done on vitamin E supplements and compared it to placebo. Over 700 participants were enrolled. Over a three-year period, unfortunately, there were no significant differences between the vitamin E group and placebo. It was the same in 2006, where the results from the Women's Health Study were published. There were no differences over the nine-year study period. It was exactly the same in 2009, when vitamin E, C, and beta-carotene were tested. And to finish things off, another study was done, looking at vitamin E and selenium. Over the six-year study period, neither supplement prevented dementia. Here's the critical learning point. It's highly unlikely that antioxidant supplements, specifically vitamins A, C, and E, are protective against cognitive decline. But this is where things get really interesting. In 2020, a massive systematic review was done trying to figure out the risk factors for Alzheimer's disease and cognitive decline. The analysis found strong evidence that high levels of blood homocysteine is significantly associated with cognitive decline. And we can use B vitamins, specifically folate and B12, to lower blood homocysteine levels. Multivitamins, of course, contain B vitamins. So in 2012, when a systematic review was done on multivitamin supplements looking at cognitive performance, we see the first signals of benefit. The analysis indicated that multivitamins were effective in improving immediate free recall memory. Other memory tests, however, didn't improve, but it gave us the first signal that there might be something here with multivitamin supplements, that there could be a possible protective effect against cognitive decline. And it might be because of the B vitamins, but here's the next critical point. In 2014, an analysis was done looking at B vitamins and the effect that they may have on cognitive aging. Surprisingly, however, B vitamins had no significant effect on cognitive performance or cognitive aging. It seems that if you only correct B vitamin deficiencies, that won't offer benefits in terms of cognitive performance. But if you correct all of the other micronutrient deficiencies by using a multivitamin, then we can see benefits. And that brings us onto the two new studies. In 2022, the Cosmos Mind study was published, and it was looking at the effects of cocoa extract or a multivitamin on cognitive performance. It starts by giving some background. Trials of single nutrients such as folic acid with or without other B vitamins, omega-3 acids, and vitamin D on cognition have yielded mixed results, which could reflect either no benefit or study design issues. This study measured participants' cognition via the telephone, and they were tested each year for three years. 1,732 participants completed all three years of follow-up. And while coca extract didn't offer any benefits, the multivitamin and mineral supplement offered significant improvements in cognition. The authors state that after three years of multivitamin supplements, it appeared to slow brain aging by 1.8 years, or by 60%, which is a very intriguing result, particularly because while the Cosmos Mind study showed benefits from multivitamin supplements, an older study published in 2013 showed no improvements. 
That 2013 trial ran for 12 years and it involved just under 6,000 male physicians aged 65 years or older. In contrast to the Cosmos Mind study, this 2013 trial found no differences between the multivitamin and placebo groups. So what's going on? Which study should we believe? Well, there are important differences between these two trials. As the authors of the Cosmos study point out, the physician study was restricted to physicians, whereas the Cosmos study included a relatively more diverse population. Secondly, the Cosmos study used additional tests of executive function with more challenging memory tests, which may have increased the sensitivity to detect treatment effects. Because of those two reasons, the findings from the Cosmos Mind study, they're more applicable to the general population. And to add to the story, in addition to the Cosmos Mind group, there was another study called the Cosmos Clinic group. The clinic group had their tests performed in the clinic, whereas the Mind group was via the telephone. And it's important to note that there's no overlap between these two studies. So if one participant was in one study, they couldn't be in the other study. The clinic study involved 573 participants, and they were also followed up for three years. And just like the MIND study, the clinic study found that daily multivitamin supplements led to a significantly favourable change in memory performance. And when both studies were combined in a meta-analysis, it gave further evidence that multivitamin supplements did improve both global cognition and memory. These studies offer powerful evidence of benefit for multivitamin supplements on cognition, and it may even get better if we have a look at omega-3 supplements. It looks like when omega-3 supplements are combined with B vitamin supplements, it offers further improvements in cognition. But before explaining how to choose a multivitamin and mineral supplement, it's important that we not get ahead of ourselves. We've got great evidence from the full Cosmos study, so the full study involved over 21,000 adults, that multivitamin supplements compared to placebo do not reduce cancer rates. And from a 2022 meta-analysis, there is no evidence that multivitamins prevent cardiovascular disease. But the evidence for cognitive performance improvements is significant. When selecting a multivitamin and mineral, it's crucial to remember that in no way should this replace a great diet and regular exercise. Instead, the supplement is there to provide a top-up to make sure that you're reaching the recommended daily intakes of your micronutrients every day, particularly your B vitamins, vitamin D3, K2, magnesium, and zinc. And for further lowering of homocysteine levels, as explained earlier in the video, you may consider trimethylglycine or TMG. And the final point to note is that ideally you don't want to have a multivitamin that's got vitamin A or E, because there's troubling evidence that those supplements may increase death rates. Plus, as explained earlier in the video, those antioxidant vitamins likely offer no benefits in terms of cognition. Now, I struggled to find a low-dose multivitamin and mineral supplement that met all of those requirements, and that's why I created Microvitamin. It doesn't have vitamin A or E. It's got all of the B vitamins you want, including folate and B12 in their methylated form. Plus, it's got the magnesium form I wanted, as well as TMG to lower homocysteine levels. And as an aside, it's also got hyaluronic acid for skin health. And I'm pleased to announce that I've just released an updated formula based on the latest clinical research and customer feedback. But I want to emphasize again, no supplement is a replacement for a great diet. So make sure to check out this next video here on the latest research on protein intake.